Today, we bring you the most recent Tesla news. Tesla has been requested to develop a facility in North Kalimantan, Indonesia, to manufacture batteries using renewable energy. Tesla has submitted an official application to expand Giga Berlin. According to a study, Tesla drivers are over 50% less likely to crash while driving a Tesla than when driving other cars. And the 2022.16.0.2 update provides navigation energy prediction blended brake. So let's get into it. Hey everyone and welcome to Tesla News, where we bring you the newest and best updates about Tesla and Elon Musk. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. Elon Musk has been urged to develop a battery factory in one of Indonesia's industrial zones, with the government proposing to employ renewable energy and natural gas to make Tesla products environmentally friendly. Tesla CEO Elon Musk could select a green industrial region in North Kalimantan for battery manufacturing, according to Indonesia's Coordinating Minister for Maritime Affairs and Investment, Luhit bin Sir Panjatan. Suara, a local news publisher, stated that the world's largest green industrial area will be able to fulfill Musk's commitment to manufacture products in an environmentally friendly manner. The industrial zone in Kulta is the world's largest integrated industrial zone, covering 74,132 acres. According to plans, the industrial park will be powered by hydropower and solar power plants, and manufacturers of high-tech and precision items like as semiconductors, lithium-ion batteries, solar panels, industrial silicon, and green aluminum would set up shop there. This is one of the issues I'm negotiating with Tesla about. Negotiations with Tesla are difficult. I told Elon, but if you want to go all the way, get an environmentally friendly battery and an environmentally friendly automobile. This is the place to be. Luhitz said at the 2022 Naval Technology College National Seminar that the area's potential is 10,000 megawatts of electricity from hydroelectric power, 10,000 megawatts of electricity from solar panels, and 2.9 trillion cubic feet of gas. This is what will change or transform Indonesia later, he said. Electric.co posted an article where it says, Upgraded decision-making framework for unprotected left turns with better modeling of objects' response to ego actions by adding more features that shape the go-no-go -go decision. This increases robustness to noisy measurements while being more sticky to decisions within a safety margin. The framework also leverages median-safe regions when necessary to maneuver across large turns and accelerate harder through maneuvers when required to safely exit the intersection. It also talked about the other features including improved recall of motorcycles, reduced velocity error of close-by pedestrian and bicyclists, a reduced heading error of pedestrians by adding new SIM and auto-label data to the training set. Another is improved precision of the is parked attribute on vehicles by adding 41,000 clips to the training set, solved 48% of the failure cases captured by our telemetry of 10.11. The conditions of the industrial zone in Kaltara began in December of 2021, according to the minister. Indonesia's economic transformation starts here, where we will manage our natural resources from upstream to downstream to create massive job availability, said Indonesian President Joko Widodo during the construction launch event. The project for more area took about five to six years to develop, according to Luhit. This project will cost a total of $132 billion. He stated that there has been no official word from Tesla yet, but that we may expect an update shortly. Tesla has submitted an application to expand Giga Berlin. Tesla has taken the first step toward expanding Giga Berlin by submitting a formal application to local authorities to expand the facility on a 247-acre block of land adjacent to the present production. Mayor Arne Christiani confirmed the application with the municipality of Grundy, telling the German daily RBB24 that the development plan for the area in issue would first need to be amended to meet Tesla's goals for the property. A timely application to commence a B-plan procedure in the near neighborhood of the current 300-acre B-plan was received by the municipality of Grund. A city council committee would have to agree to change the plan, which specifies what can be developed on the 247-acre area, according to Christiani. Mayor Cristiani thinks that this process will begin on June 2, 2022, and that it will become obvious whether all the concerns that are crucial in such a B-plan process conform to a community member's aspirations. He also expects the majority of committee members to propose to the council that the development plan procedure be started, but that the process will take time to complete, as Christiana indicated. This corresponds to a timeline we announced earlier this month, according to which construction on Giga Berlin's extension may begin in June 2023 if all goes well. Tesla had hopes to launch the facility in mid-2021, but the deadline was pushed back by more than a year due to Tesla making changes to their designs, as well as the delayed permission approval process. Progressing to the next stage of the revision, when driving a Tesla, Tesla drivers are nearly 50% less likely to crash than drivers of other cars. 
new research from Cambridge Mobile Telematics CMT, one of the industry's top telematic service providers, has uncovered some fascinating trends among electric vehicle users. According to the report, Tesla drivers were roughly 50% less likely to crash than drivers of other cars when driving at Tesla. The CMT study focused on the dangers of driving electric hybrids and conventional vehicles. The study's findings were reviewed at the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, charging into an electrified future conference. According to a news release from CMT, EV drivers face acceleration hazards that range from 180% to 340% more than while driving traditional combustion-powered vehicles. While worrying, this is predictable given the differences in behavior between electric and ICE-powered vehicles. Due to their electric motors, EVs have rapid torque. Therefore, drivers with a heavy foot may find themselves accelerating more frequently than intended in an electric car. This is especially true for strong EVs like the Tesla Model 3 or the Porsche Taycan. Tesla drivers, on the other hand, are 50% less likely to crash while driving their premium all-electric vehicle than if they were driving another vehicle, according to CMT's research. This suggests that Tesla drivers are more cautious and responsible than critics in the media and on social media believe. According to the CMT study, Porsche electric vehicle owners are 55% more likely than Tesla drivers to have an accident when driving an electric Porsche versus another vehicle. The comparisons between drivers who operate both an electric vehicle and an internal combustion vehicle, allowing for greater knowledge of risk across vehicle platforms, are among the most intriguing new findings, according to Ryan McMahon, Vice President of Strategy for CMT. These findings include a study of Tesla drivers who also operate another vehicle. These drivers are nearly 50% less likely to crash while driving their Tesla than any other vehicle they operate. We conducted the same study on people who drive a Porsche and another vehicle and found the opposite effect. When driving an electric Porsche, drivers are 55 times more likely to get into an accident than when driving any other vehicle. Moving on to the most recent update, McMahon stated navigation energy prediction blended brakes and more are included in Tesla's 2022.16.0.2 upgrade. Tesla has begun rolling out the 2022.16.0.2 over-the-air update, which features navigation energy prediction blended braking driver profile enhancements and supercharger wait times. This update rollout was initially noticed by Tesla Scope on a 2019 Model 3 performance in New South Wales, Australia. Three older Model S cars, six Model S refresh cars, and seven Model 3s have all received the update since then. One of the new capabilities of this edition is navigation energy prediction. Expected crosswind, headwind, humidity, and ambient temperature have been included to the energy prediction for your route. According to Tesla's release notes, this release also introduced blended brakes when utilizing online navigation. Blended brakes automatically activate standard brakes during regenerative braking for steady deceleration, according to Tesla hacker Green. He also mentioned that blended brakes are optional. When regenerative braking is limited, drivers can enable blended brakes by tapping the control pedals and steering applying brakes. Tesla also updated driver profiles, allowing drivers to link their media player accounts, such as Spotify, to their driver profile. To do so, simply log into your media account while your driver profile is selected, according to the release notes. The most recent OTA update may also shadow drivers' supercharger wait times. Drivers would also be shown less busy supercharger stations and sent to those stations. So this was all. Add your thoughts in the comments section below. Also like, subscribe, and share our channel. We will see you soon with our next video, so be with us. And if you like this video, be sure to check out our other videos. Thank you so much for watching.